We're going to try and expand into more educational side for children. And Pat's a little bit more monitoring in the rivers, electrofishing and invertebrate monitoring to, to get a real proper view of the health of the river. So obviously everything I've discussed takes a lot of money and a lot of potentially a lot of manpower. As I say, for the projects, so we've got uh, Harriet, who's our projects officer, oversees them all. But we often use contractors because it's cheaper in the long run to, for us to bring people in. And they tend to, quite often we need heavy machinery, which we don't have. Um, so the, but the one thing we also need, if we're going to monitor properly the streams, is an army of volunteers. We need volunteers, it, and they can be of all ages, and there's something for everyone. You know, it's a bit like a rugby team, there's a position for every player. Um, and we have a volunteer coordinator who people can register with. They can find it online at West Wales Rivers Trust. And they can register as a volunteer. And then if we're doing something in their area, we'll send out an email and you can be notified that we're doing a tree planting or we're doing a balsam pick or we're doing a plastic pick. And anyone can come on and say, well, I'd like to go and do a bit of tree planting. We do, we're going to do some at the top of the Tyvee in September, October, and we'll get a lot of kids from Aberystwyth University and some of the schools around there. And we've just started, we did a really, actually, obviously like everyone, we've been affected by COVID, but... We just started doing some stuff with some schools, wonderful stuff. We took some, a school in Aberara and we took all the children up the river, we cleaned the river, we, we teach them about invertebrates, we pull out all the balsam, and they loved it. They had a fantastic day out in the school. They came for us to go back and do that again. We, as I said, we've got a volunteer coordinator who's helping with that, but we, at some stage, we will need to employ someone full-time to do the education, which will be a good day for us. You know, if we had a full-time education officer, I'd be absolutely thrilled. Mm. Um, that'll be something we probably will be able to get funding for. But if we can get into the schools and we can change the mindset quite young or encourage the right mindset, not change it, encourage the right mindset when they're young, as they grow up, they'll look after the rivers naturally. It'll be a natural thing. Whereas perhaps historically, we've abused the environment. Hopefully we can generate some children, a generation of children who will respect it and look after it and hopefully put us out of work. As I say, I mean, funding is the key for us, especially with the number of rivers we've got. And at the moment, we get the bulk of our funding from the authorities, from the regulator and from the uh, from Dua Cymru. What we do need to do, and this sort of buys into the community aspect of adopted tributary, we need to get more, we need to get local businesses involved a bit more whether it's through direct funding or individual project funding. You know, they could fund us to exist, you know, just to pay the bills, keep us ticking over. Or they could fund individual <coughs> projects, particularly in their area, you know. And we've just started having a little bit of success with that, where we approach businesses and say, look, you know, this stream's a mess. We're not saying you're responsible, but it's in your vicinity. Would you help us? And there are one or two starting to pick up that baton and help us along. But... That would be the game changer for us financially if we could get more businesses, and they don't have to be a, you know, they don't have to be agricultural or dairy or something like that. You know, just somebody who cares about their community. We're very lucky in Carmarthenshire to live with this wonderful river going through the middle of it. Everyone should put a little bit to help keep it. You know, it's the you know, it's the vein of Carmarthenshire, the Towie, and it would be really helpful if we could get more businesses to help us keep it. You know in the pristine state it was not so many years ago. It's a very hot topic because there is significant evidence that Cassandra's, Cormorants and Magansas are hitting fry and small fish in the rivers in large numbers, in large quantities. And if you speak to people who were here 50 years ago, they'll say these birds weren't here in those numbers. But they are protected birds. They are a protected species. So you get into that dilemma of, do you have a go at one protected species to protect another? You know, it's a very difficult one. And the RSPB will argue that they wouldn't be there if there weren't fish to eat, so there are ample fish. And, you know, it goes back and forth. And we're not calling for a wholesale massacre of birds, but we definitely think that the evidence is pretty strong now that they're having an impact on small fish. And it needs to be discussed and looked at. And... Yeah, I'm pleased to say there is now, and Avonith Cymru represent the Rivers Trust, there is now a subgroup from NLW that is looking into the impacts of birds on the rivers.